Well, hello there. Look, well, look where we are. It's 2023, baby. It's 2023, baby. Let's go, you know. New year, new me. Yes. Oh, my God. Are we all excited? I hope we're all excited because this this is going to be a good year, everyone. I'm putting positive vibes in you now because you're going to follow through and we're going to have a good year, aren't we? Um, but, but no, I hope you're well. We're in the new year. We've had this great holidays and we're ready. We're here. We're 2023. We're ready to get down to business. And I'm here to kind of keep you on track because, look, the purpose of this video is, is simple. There's this awful statistic about New Year's New Year's resolutions, right? And it's saying, I think it's like 80 to 90% of people, they already fail at their New Year's resolutions by the end of January. 90% of people, just out of the picture. They've, they've messed it up. There's one thing about self-help and self-improvement is that, dude, it, it takes a while. It's long-term consistency. That's what's the most important thing by far. So if you're falling off by January, eh, eh, not allowing that to happen. We, we want to stay strong. We want to stay big this year. And yeah, I, I just really want to try to encourage you to, to stick to your goals. And the primary way of doing that is what I found to be the most useful. Uh, this is from James Clear, my favorite author of Atomic Habits, my favorite book, which you should definitely read if you haven't. And that's how, how can you stay consistent over a year? That's a long ass time. Uh, and I think the most important thing to do, if you're wanting to pick up a new habit, working out, uh, working on a side project, what I would implore you to do is to start small with it. The last thing you want with pick up a new habit is just too much friction. You don't want to be too tough. Like say you, you haven't been running in like a year, right? And you're like, oh, I'm going to run 30 minutes every day. One, no, you're not. <laughs> it's just one. I was going to raise more points. No, you're not. That's actually really intense. It might not sound it, but if you, like just once you're three or four days in this new burst of motivation, if the new year's kind of dried up, you're kind of back to square one, aren't you? But you know what won't leave you back at square one is if you start off by saying, I'm going to run 10 minutes and walk 20. You know, like alternate every one minute running, two minute walking. You do something like that and like, oh, you know, when, you're, when your motivation is running low when you're maybe two weeks into this, you're like, you know what? I couldn't do a 30 minute run. So thank God I've set myself. I'm doing two minutes of walking, one minute running. Because that's something easier to do and you can keep consistent. Because the biggest thing is that you want to establish the habit before you start building upon it. That's my big thing. Uh, I did this with meditation, especially. I'm doing it with running right now as well, actually. So that's a pretty apt example. But with meditation, I literally started doing one minute a day, which if you don't meditate, uh, that's not enough time to get the benefits of meditating. But that wasn't the purpose of it. The purpose of it was to make it easy, something small. I associated a time of day with it. I, I just I set up where it was going to be. I made the habit like just accessible. So for a week straight, one minute meditating. Next week, two minutes meditating. Worked up to five minutes and then my app only the weird increments of times, like five minutes, eight minutes, 10 minutes. So I kind of, it got a weird after that. But just the biggest thing you got to do is habits take time to become natural. And so achieving goals, it's, it's just, I really employ you to keep it small, but by keeping it small, you keep it consistent, which means you'll probably stick to it better long-term than you would if it's really intense. Because I know you've probably got bloody ice in your veins right now with, uh, and from excitement for the new year with motivation. You want to do everything all at once, but you won't. You just, you won't. It'll be three days from now, you're going to be eyeing down the bloody, the donut, like, oh, yeah, no, I mean, the diet, like, could just take a little break. And we don't want that. So I implore you, really, the biggest thing is just start small. Start small for this year. Don't, we've got so much time in the year to, like, up the intensity. So for now, just focus on consistency. Then we can worry about intensity when it's a habit. That's the biggest piece of advice to give you so you don't end up like the 10% of people who actually make it past January, okay? But yeah, maybe, you know, maybe I could talk about my goals. Uh, I, I think the biggest thing you should have done by now, or not, I don't want to pressure you, but the one thing I do right now, if you haven't, is just write down some goals for the year. What do you want to do? Is there a position at your job you want to be in? Do you want to get certain grades in your studies? Uh, do you want to have a certain physique, lose a certain amount of weight, bench a certain amount, whatever it may be, write them down. Just write them down. It's something like, oh, I'll forget to study. I'll butcher it. I think it's a Harvard study. And it looked through one of their, I think it was one of the years. Oh, I can't remember what they looked through. Let me remember. I think it was something like of the 7% of people who wrote down their goals. I think this was in a year group of like a, a university. I think it was something of like the 7% of people who wrote down their goals. I think those 7% of people out earned the 93%, like their collection of income out earned the 93% later on in life. That might not be super analogous. I think it's a bit different, but just along the lines of, dude, physically write down your goals and you are like, I'm not even joking. You are leagues ahead of people. It's crazy. Not to shit on the average person, you know, your bots, your NPCs, but like people, some people just aren't really ambitious, you know? So if you write down your goals, you are like, you are so ahead of the curve. That's crazy because it's such a simple task, but just having it physically written down it just it, it had some weight to it it's like with the journaling like you have all these thoughts in your head you write them down it's just it it just feel it relieves you similar thing with setting goals you write them down and it's just it's committed you feel committed to it it just feels more powerful there's more weight to it you want to you want to give it a better shot so number one write some goals down for the year that's huge um if you need a guide on it i kind of like to think of things in four kind of i think it's four four different areas you got your like your finances you got your physical goals you got your mental health goals 
and you got your like your relationship goals. So that's like a four. If you want, maybe you can set some things, some little just nothing too big, just stuff you want to do on those different aspects, uh, and see where see we can get with that. So that's a good starting point. But what's equally important is if you've set yearly goals, and this is what I'm really gonna make do this year. I I'm setting. Look, I can you can hear it here. I've got a daily journal. I've got a daily to do list. I've got a weekly to do list. I've got monthly goals. I've got quarterly goals, and I've got yearly goals. Uh, and that might sound insane. And look, to be honest, could be a little insane. But um. No, it's just because I want to, I think a year is a deceptive amount of time. Uh, so you got to be careful with it because it's a length of time to where you're like, oh, I can just put it off till tomorrow. But you can't keep doing that or, you know, a year will go by and these lofty goals will just kind of be laughing at you like, you thought you could do this. So you kind of have to be careful with the year, which is why you want to set these like little benchmarks or things along the way to kind of keep yourself in check throughout the process. This is like another thing that's super helpful for staying consistent is if you've got these little benchmarks you're hitting along the way, it also gives you a better sense of progression. It knows if you're heading on the right direction. And I think that's just another really important thing to being consistent because what, do, say it with me, what don't we want to be? The 90% of people who drop their habits and then their goals after January. That's not going to be us. If you're watching this video, it's not going to be you. That's the main stuff. I guess I can tell you my goals. Uh, if I haven't already, my, I've recorded this once and my mic was just pure static. So we're here again. We're doing it again. But my goals for the year, if you want to hear them, I want to have half a mil subs on the main channel. Uh, I want to have a $200,000 investment portfolio, which may sound like a ludicrous amount of money. Uh, and it is a lot for a 21 year old to be, Jesus, that is quite ambitious. YouTube does bring in good money, I'll admit, but like, I don't know, the, being my age and having that as like an investment goal is kind of crazy and I really want to hit it. I think I, I definitely will. Uh, I want to read a book every week. I was doing that earlier in the year, but I want to keep it up for the whole year. I want to have a second channel video every week because I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't only want to keep myself accountable, but I also want to help keep you accountable. If there's something every week reminding you just as some loose self-improvement like idea, I think that can help majorly in like just sticking to things. So I think that could be useful not only for you, no, sorry, not only for me, but hopefully for you as well. Um, I hope that can, maybe that'll be good. Every week you'll have one on a Sunday. I'm recording on a Sunday here. I can give you one. Uh, I do have some physical goals because my shoulder's still busted. It's kind of hard to know what to do. So, but January, actually I can tell you what I'm doing in January physically. Uh, fully cutting out sugar, fully cutting out artificial sweeteners, and I'm just aiming to lose some weight right now. Which may sound a bit silly, because I will lose a bit of muscle mass, but honestly, I'm just, I'm just packing a bit. I'm not like fat or anything, it's just like, there's a bit more fat I want to get around. Especially around my face, I feel like I have quite a fucking little chubby, little, little, little chubby bunny face, and I don't like it. So I want to, I'm going to try and drop three to four kilos in January, which uh, should be fine. I'm pretty good with weight loss, I just, I, I just have, a, I'm very strict with it. I don't know how, to be honest, but that's what my physical goals are. Um, but yeah, that's my yearly goals. I've got my to-do list and stuff, I've got, just, I just want to keep myself, and I want to just stay reminded throughout the whole year. Because a year... I guess I'll finish with this. I, I, I said it in my last recording, but there's this, I think it's a Tony, Tony Robbins quote where he says that people overestimate what they can do in a year and underestimate what they can do in a decade. And I think that's half right because people definitely underestimate what they can do in a decade, but people also really underestimate what they can do in a year too. Like a year is so much time and it, it maybe it doesn't feel like it, but truthfully, you can accomplish so much this year. If you have some, I just, I really hope the best for you. Because this, this year, and everyone says, a new year, new me, 2023 is my year. But like, truthfully, I just, I'm really ambitious for this year. I had a really shitty 2022, if I'm going to be honest with you. I used to think it was like the worst year of my life, but also the best year of my life. But upon some reflection at the end of December, I was like, hmm, no, no, that was kind of just the worst year of my life. But I had some good success since, in, in, like my self-improvement was great. But I'm grateful it happened. It was a shit year in my personal life, um, but it taught me so much. And I guess this year for me is going to be going to be enacting what I learned in that dumpster fire of a year that it was relatively successful, but just, just a bit of a mess. So that's what I want 2023 to be. I want to prove to you that with consistent work, with the positive mindset, with just just a lot of ambition, a lot of drive and consistency. I just want to show what you can do. That's what I want this year to be. And I don't know if I mentioned it in this recording. Sorry, I keep mentioning that recording, but I also spent New Year's by myself. At midnight, I was in my car at an oval near where I used to live, recording a video for myself in a year, which will be premiering on January 1st, 2024. It'll be live. You can see where my head was at. You can see the goals I had. You can see the, the thoughts behind it. But yeah, I just want to use that to keep myself accountable. I set all my goals. I spent New Year's by myself. Uh, I saw some people for a bit, but then I was back, back by myself, and I just, I record a video for myself, because I think it'll be, I don't know, I, I'm just really hopeful about this year, I think it's gonna be good, and I hope, I hope you're confident about this year too, we can do big things, alright, well, let's kill it, let's, let's make, let's make 2023 our bitch, that's how I put it, but alright, I think that's all for me, I, I really hope you're doing well, I hope you had a good Christmas, good holidays, whatever you celebrate, I hope you had a good time, but it's 2023 now, so it's, it's time to get on the grind. It's time to make, it's time to do some shit this year. I really wish you the best. I uh, hope good luck with it. I'll be here every week. 
I'll, my Discord's down below. I'll be active in, well, kind of active in there. But yeah, this we could do it. Let's let's kill it. Let's do it. I'm excited. You better be excited. Uh, but no, that's all from me. So yeah, farewell, elite level gamer.